All right, my name is Max, and this is a quick video on how to inspect and load the Vivitar T330 Big View, or any port and shoot camera that you find at your thrift shop, or maybe on eBay, maybe a hand-me-down. So let's get right into it. First thing I do is uh, pop open the back of the camera, make sure that there's no scratches, dust, sand, or whatever behind there. Also gives you a chance to inspect the light seals, prevent any light leaks from happening and any surprises. So you're just generally looking for something that's clean, that doesn't look damaged, even if you don't know what each part is. Close that up. Uh, very important, check the battery casing. The batteries can leak over time. If you leave batteries in old electronics, they can bust open and acid leaks everywhere and fries your camera. So make sure that that is clear. And a lot of times you don't get to test these when you're picking them up in a thrift shop, let's say. Yeah, just look around the camera, make sure there's no big dense scuffs, whatever that could maybe indicate that it was dropped in the past. Hit all the buttons. And that's more or less the quick check. So if you decide to get the camera, you'll wanna put in some fresh batteries, pop them into the case and close it up. In this particular camera, you just have to open the film back and close it and then start taking photos for it to start auto advancing. Um, I'm testing on and off switches. I'm testing the flash to just make sure before I load any film in that it is somewhat in good condition. In this case it is, so I'm gonna load up my tester roll, which is just a, a roll that um, I sacrificed to the camera gods um, to see if the auto advance uh, works. So pop the back open, pop the film in, and you wanna make sure to stretch the film slide all the way over to the very far right of this spool. You can even go a bit further and just push it down like I did. Close the back up and snap a photo and you're in business. So with this test roll, I have the uh, benefit of going through all of the photos, um, as in snapping, testing the flash, etc. And once you're done your, your test roll, um, or any roll of that matter, you'll want to rewind the film, which is in this slide right here. So you just press that and you wait a bit for your film to reel back. And that's more or less it. It's always going to be a risk when you buy a uh, used point and shoot that something might go wrong. But if you inspect it the way I did and showed you, um, the odds should be in your favor. So I'm going to go ahead and load a real roll of gold 200 into this and ship it off to my friend Emma on the East Coast and uh, look forward to seeing what kind of photos she can get out of it. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments. I uh, hope this video was somewhat quick and concise and hope to make more of these as I find more cameras and I test them out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.